All right, I've got my head cam on, my hat cam. And uh, I'm going to remove the... Uh, no, I'm not going to remove the steer. I'm going to remove the horse. Well, i got to move the steer out of the way a little bit so I can get the horse. I got this uh, angled uh, device for my drill to get in tight areas just like this. So this is really helpful. So I'm not sticking my drill down in there and uh, damaging the clay. Good. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm going to put my longhorn up here out of the way, along with my other clays. I've got my Lazy Susan on the bottom of this board. I'm going to make a jig to create the uh, saddle on, uh, because I'm not going to do it on the back of the horse. I'll do, do it separate from the horse and then add it onto the horse. So I want to get uh, some screws. To uh, anchor this uh, Lazy Susan onto my cutting, my uh, sculpting stand. I've got uh, wax, Victory Brown wax, warming up underneath the uh, lamp. I'm going to be using wax this time to make the saddle. I'm not going to use uh, Super Sculpty. Uh, I think the wax will hold up even better than the uh, Super Sculpty. But I've got it under the lamp, and I'm letting that warm up right now. But uh, i got to make a jig for this. All right, I'm... Measuring the size the saddle is going to have to be with my calipers, that's going to determine how big my jig is going to be as far as length goes. And now I just got to find a piece of wood that matches the uh, general shape of uh, the horse. Doesn't have to be exact, just general. All right, I found this dowel. I'll cut it down to size and I'll put a couple of uh, dowels in here to support it and I'll put it up high enough for me to work on the saddle on this uh, little jig here Okay, this is going to involve with me happening to uh, go outside and cut this on my radial arm saw We had about two inches of snow last night. It's already gone It's cold right now but uh, anyway, just gonna cut this down. Good job. Did I mention there's not a lot of room between the car and the door? <laughs> All right, I got two. Uh, equal length pieces of uh, wooden dowel now I just have to it's a matter of just finding a drill bit that matches the uh, diameter of the wooden dowel okay now I just got to match the diameter and that looks like a good one right there Now, I want it to be the same depth on uh, each dowel, so I get the 
proper height. And I'm going to have to use some electrician's tape. I'm going to have to use some electrician's tape to uh, do that with. I just got to find my scissors. There they are. Okay, it's just a matter of gluing it. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little, I don't have a nozzle that works on my uh, glue, so I'm just having to wing it here. Okay. I'm gonna let this uh, get uh, set, and then I'll be able to. Uh, I gotta clean off this. Uh, rig here so I can uh, do that and be able to 
lift the saddle off of the uh, thing. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to put some uh, wax paper or, or parchment paper on there and uh, tape it somehow to the uh, rig and that way I can lift the uh, saddle off easily. Or I can put it in the freezer and uh, when it's really hard and frozen, I can lift it off the uh, wood. I'll have to figure this out uh, at another time. I'm going to wipe up that glue. I don't want it gluing to the base here, but uh, that gives me a, a nice rig to work on and you work on it separate from the horse and then I can put it on the horse and, and match it up to the horse. That uh, Wednesday I won't be here so tomorrow may be I may be here tomorrow I don't know it depends on what I have to do Wednesday I we gotta well let me show you I'll show you why I don't know if you can see it very well but I've got all my molds in here and uh, you can barely see on some of them all of them have the name of the uh, mold or the piece that it goes to and I've got to uh, separate them out this one I think is uh, crazy horse uh, and then this one's a bust not sure which one but I've got all this stuff to go through and then we're going to be storing it uh, in a uh, building in uh, Ennis and uh, we'll do that Wednesday but I've got to figure out what I'm doing here and I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that tomorrow or just do it all Wednesday by the way this uh, banner here is from a show I did in 1991 in Jakarta Indonesia it was a one-man show that I put on I was sponsored by the uh, Rotary Club there and the Rotary in the Far East is very very big and uh, a gentleman that uh, sponsored me owns one of the biggest court car uh, companies uh, where they build cars and he has it in several countries he commissioned me to do a portrait of himself and his two sons um, and uh, I did that years ago and uh, he put a copy of each one of those bronzes in each one of the companies which was kind of cool but anyway I did a show there in 1991 in February um, and it's a huge Muslim country. It's got one of the biggest, I think the biggest uh, Muslim uh, uh, mosque in the world is there in Jakarta. And I, I was awakened in the morning by call to prayers uh, from the uh, Bora Badur Hotel where I was staying during that time. It was a great experience, just amazing. Traveling from San Francisco to all the way up to over Alaska and down into Japan and we had a stop in Japan and changed planes then we flew into Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and spent the night there and then took another plane the next morning to Jakarta and it was just an amazing experience it was so hot and muggy I have no idea why anybody would go there in the summertime <laughs> let alone the winter time which I was there but anyway um, it was fun. It was an experience. All right, everybody. I'll, uh, and by the way, you can see the video, I think, uh, on my channel. If you want to do a search for Jakarta, uh, it, it might come up. Uh, I'm not certain. I might put a link to it in the uh, video description or into the comment area. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting.
Good night, everybody.